Hello, my name is Troy Ledford and I'm a product manager here at Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories. And today, I am here to show you how to create your own custom base screen on the new 751 color touch screen display. Without further ado, let's get started. As you can see here, I have already opened a project on Accelerator QuickSet. To get started, I'll show you some of the new features available in QuickSet with the new touchscreen display. The first portion here is the touchscreen settings. This is what the home button does, the timeout, how long your transition time between rotating displays, and as well as the backlight brightness of the display. The next portion of the new settings here is the rotating display. In the rotating display, you can choose from various screens uh, to incorporate into the rotating display, up to 16 of those. Another portion here is the push buttons. The push buttons on the relay can be programmed to open specific screens on the device. Since we're going to be working with the base screen today, I'm going to change push button 8 to show base screen 1 or single line diagram 1. Next is the bay control section. This is where I can either create a new bay diagram or single line diagram, edit an existing single line diagram, reset to defaults, and as well as import and export them. I've already selected edit here, so we'll jump into the new piece of software that comes with Accelerator Quick Set, which is Base Screen Builder. Now that I have Base Screen Builder open, a few things to notice here are the symbols. In this symbol palette, you will see breaker symbols, disconnect symbols, analog and digital values, as well as other symbols available to create your one-line diagram. These symbols are available in both IEC and ANSI. As you can see, I've already started creating a one-line diagram for our feeder. So today, we're going to finish creating that one-line diagram with a few various objects. The first thing I'm going to add is a breaker. I add an object by simply dragging it onto the screen. I'm also going to label the breaker. Let's call it breaker. 201. The next thing I'm going to add is an analog label here. As you can see, I already have IA and IB. I am then going to align this label with the labels I have already created. Pretext of IA for phase A current going through that breaker. I'd also like to see the units with one decimal place. And for the last portion of this analog quantity, I will set the units to amps. Next, I will label this feeder using the text box. I can edit this by simply double clicking it. We'll call this Northwest Feeder and select OK. For the last portion of this one line diagram, I'm going to add an image to the screen. I can select the image that is used by clicking this button here, selecting company logo. As you can see, I've created a company logo for the utility, great utility company. Again, I'm going to align it into the corner of the screen. And there you have it. You have a completed one line diagram. Next, I will publish this or send this to Accelerator QuickSet. The screen here will show the updated one-line diagram once it has been sent. Next, I will set that analog quantity of IA to show the phase A current going through the breaker. You can do this by clicking on IA on the preview image of the one-line diagram here. Next, I will select the dot 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 here at the end and select IA magnitude. For the last step, I will send this one line diagram as well as the associated settings to the relay. This is done in the same way that we have sent settings to other SEL products and relays. So I'll simply press the send button here. Once communications have been connected, touchscreen settings were the only thing I changed. So I will then send those to the device. And in a moment, the relay will be updated and I will push push button 8 to show you the newly configured one-line diagram. 
As you can see on the screen, an updated one-line diagram with company logo, analog values, feeder name, and a breaker are now available on the screen. That is how easy it is to create your very own one-line diagram to meet your specific application and needs. To find out more, visit selinc.com. Thanks for joining us today.